How's it going? Welcome back to my garden. Today we are going to be doing a review of a garden edger tool. So, um, I'm really excited about this because having a clean edge between my garden bed and the grass is one of the biggest things for me. Um, just having that really nice, sharp, clean line keeps everything looking really tidy, really pretty without even having to remulch or having to go through and do a bunch of deadheading. Somehow just having that nice crisp green line of grass right up next to your flower beds just makes everything look so much more tidy. So my normal process of edging my beds, it can be very time consuming. And so what I decided to do was to go on Amazon and to find some of the top rated edging tools and kind of read through the comments and see which one I should trial for you guys and for myself to see if I can make this chore a little bit easier. So the one that I ended up purchasing, let me see if I can get it over here, is called Quick Edge. Okay, so let me hold it up properly here. So you can see this tool has kind of like a blade and that has an underside to it. Um, it has a really nice long handle so you won't be bending over. And so how you use this device is this side that has, I'm hoping you guys can see all of these, um, that has this little L to it is what you are going to drag along the ground. And then this side has a little bit of a flare in the back so it pushes the soil kind of out of the way so it makes that really nice trench along um, the edge of your bed so we are going to try this tool out today I'm going to give you my honest opinion of how I think it works um, and then I thought it might be helpful too to show you what I normally do I don't know if you guys edge your beds or how you do it but um, if this tool doesn't do exactly what I would like I thought it might be helpful to see how I normally edge my beds but I'm really hopeful that this is going to make this chore so much quicker and so much easier. So let's give it a try. Okay, so I am going to take this tool and where I want the edge, I'm going to place this corner. And this part of the tool is going to cut into the ground. And the other side is going to make a nice little edge for us. Okay, so here is the edge all finished with 
just the edger and then me coming through and kind of pushing some of the soil up like you could see and also pulling some of the weeds out. Um, this is what it looks like before and this is what it looks like after the edger. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that but there's definitely more of an edge here now where it kind of makes a little bit of a trench um, between your grass and your flower bed which is nice. Okay, so that shows you a little bit of how the tool works and um, how to use it and all that kind of stuff. I definitely think there is a place for this kind of tool. Normally, I'm edging my beds with a weed eater or a flathead shovel. Um, the weed eater for me is usually what I end up going to, um, but it's a very physically demanding thing. So, um, this tool would be a lot less physically demanding and it would be a lot easier on your body if that's something that you are concerned about or thinking about. Um, this is definitely not going to absolutely drain you. It still takes a good a bit of muscle strength and just working that edge back and forth until you get it the way you want it to be. Um, personally for me, I don't know if I could get the edges of my bed as clean and precise as I'm used to seeing with my weed eater um, with that sort of tool. So there's kind of pros and cons there. It's obviously much easier on my body and much simpler to use. Um, you're not having to go, go grab power tools and gas and whatever. It's just a tool, grab it and take it out. But it's also not giving me that super crisp, clean line that I'm used to seeing with my beds. Now, that is something that I really, really like is a super sharp line. Um, and so I, it's, it's a little bit of a toss up. I could see using that tool on a consistent basis being really good. So if your grass is really nice and tidy most of the time, so then maybe once a week you could drag that tool through that line and keep that line, line really nice and sharp. I think it would be great for that. If you're trying to dig out um, a place that's kind of started to grow together and kind of become one again, it's it's not giving me exactly what I personally am looking for whenever I'm looking to edge my beds. Um, it does give you a nice groove between the bed and the grass, which I love. That's great. But it's not really cleaning up the grass edge as much as I would like. So I would like to show you guys also um, how I normally edge my beds in case you guys are interested in that side of things as well. So like I said, I normally use my... Um, weed eater, which I have sitting in my lap right here. I have a gas powered Cub Cadet weed eater. It is a two cycle premium get grade SS270, whatever that means. I don't know too much about um, weed eaters, but I know this one does the trick for me. And also one cool thing about this weed eater in particular, which I'm not sure they all do, but this one does, is about halfway up the weed eater, there is this little space right here where you can loosen this nut and you can push this little button in here and you can rotate the head of your weed eater. So I'm going to rotate mine to the side. So normally we have our weed eater head flat so that we can just weed eat weeds and things like that. I'm actually going to turn mine to the side like this. So whenever it is going along the edge of my bed, this is actually gonna be straight up and down, um, perpendicular with the bed line. Um, and you can also notice that I took off the guard of my weed eater. I just think it gets in the way of being able to see what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I would suggest doing that, but that's what I do because I like to be able to see what I'm doing. So let me just show you how this works real quick and then we'll wrap this thing up.
Okay, so I want to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. This side over here is where we use the quick edge tool. Um, pretty nice. Like, honestly, that's a good trench. Um, and then as we come down here, right here is where I started using the weed eater that you just saw me do. So, um... I don't know if you guys can tell, but like just the edge of the grass itself is much cleaner as opposed to this edge over here. Okay, final thoughts with the quick edge. So I would say um, comparing it to what I normally do to this, it obviously does not get the grass line itself as clean as say the weed eater does but it does make a much deeper and wider trench to really separate the grass from the beds i could actually see using both of these based on what the bed needs in that period of time whether it's just the grass is getting long on the edge or whether it be that i need to dig a new trench because the tr the it's kind of like grown together you know what i mean so um i'm gonna say that I like this product. At first I was kind of like, ah, eh, I don't know. I mean, the way I did it before kind of cleans up the edge a little bit better, which it does, the grass edge. Um, but this really, it makes a nicer trench. Since I made a side-by-side -side comparison and really got to look at one versus the other, honestly, this makes a much nicer trench. Like I said, it's low impact on my body as opposed to the power tool and it gives me a nice trench so if the grass needs edged up that day maybe i use the power tool but if i just need to make a nice trench and the grass is looking okay then i'll probably just grab the quick edge so yeah those are my final thoughts on the quick edge i like it i think it has its place in the garden um, i hope this review was helpful for you so that you could kind of get an idea of whether it would be something that would be helpful for you or not in your space um, and if you guys are interested in the quick edge i will put a link in the description below and you guys can find it on amazon well thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one